Okay, let's give you guys some practice now. So given this function here, f of x equals x squared plus 10x plus 21. Um, you should, when given this function here, you should, um, you should be able to sketch a, a graph of this. When x is small, um, it wants, well, there will be, there will be an intercept of 21. So this level here is 21 and it has a gradient of, um, of 10. So this, this here has a gradient of 10. And if you want to find out this root or, and this root here, you would factorize this whole thing here. So when you factorize it, well, you, you, you should be able to do this. Um, if you don't, then, uh, then watch the section on quadratic equations. So here, factorize it. It will give you, um, uh, plus seven and then, uh, and then x, uh, plus three. And then, so, so this here, one root will be negative seven. So this here is negative seven. And this here will be negative three. Okay. And, uh, and, uh, if you want to know this one, uh, this, uh, this point here, you would need to um, complete the square on this one here. So you, your eyes just zoom into this. You, you're going to need 10. Well, well you, you need 10, but you, you're going to need half of this x here. So, um, so it would be in the form of x something squared squared here. And this, this something here would be, would be half of this 10 here. So it would be um, plus 5. Okay. And then you need, you immediately take away the, the rubbish, which is 25, and then you add, well, you, you would take this 21 down, so 21 here, okay? So, um, so, so, so this, this whole function here, this whole function here equals this, okay? And then, and then from this, well, just tidy it up. So it would be um, uh, x plus 5, uh, 25 here, and then, and then this here would be minus, minus 4. Okay, so, so, so by looking at this now, um, and, and, and you, you have to be able to get from, from, uh, from the original function here to here. Okay, um, y yeah, you, you, you got, you got to know this by heart now. Um, so this point here would be, would be negative five. So this bit here would be negative five. And, uh, and the, the, this bit here would be negative four. Okay, so, so the coordinates here would be, Will be um, will be negative five comma negative four. Okay. Well, anyway, given that given this function here, and um, and given that this is seven and this is uh, well minus three minus seven. Um, sketch the question is um, sketch your function. Um, sketch your function three f of x. Okay. So 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 um, sketch this this uh, function here. So press pause and have a go. Oh, re remember that when, when you have this here, everything gets stretched upwards. Um, uh, and then everything gets stretched downwards here. Uh, re remember this, if, if this is in front, then it gets stretched upwards and downwards. Okay. It's, um, it's the other one. It's the, uh, it's this one here where, where everything gets squashed inwards. Okay. Everything gets squashed inwards. But, but because, because the, the question for this video is, what is 3f of x? So sketch it. So, uh, yeah, so, so what, what happens to all the vital points? Um, well, and, anyway, sketch, sketch this line, uh, sketch this function here. Press pause and have a go. Okay, so, um, what's, what, what, what's, um, what's happening is that when, when you, uh, when you get given this here, um, and then now you want to know this, everything gets stretched. Uh, so if, if you look at um, the bottom part, hang on, hang on. Let's let's look at this uh, this bottom part here. See this bit here? I'm going to stretch it uh, by three downwards. So so th this bit here is minus four, minus four here. So I'm I'm going to need to stretch it three times further down. So from so from here to here is four. So um, three times one, two, three, probably down here somewhere. Okay, so this this point here, I'm going to take it to somewhere down here. So the new function should look like this. Hang on, uh, this one here. So I'm going to stretch stretch this um, all the way down here. Hang on. Okay, so so it will look like that for the for the bottom part. The top part, I'm going to need to stretch it or uh, three times. Well, I'm going to select. I could select any point. 
from from here. I I I could um, well if I could use this point. Uh, I could use this as a reference point. So I'm going to need to take it three times up, or I could use this bit here, and then uh, I need to to stretch it three times up. But I I'm just going to use this point here. I'm, I'm going to use so so from here to here. I'm going to take it three times as much. So so this is one two three. So three would be somewhere up here. So I'm going to need to stretch this bit here all the way up to somewhere here. So hang on. So your new graph will look something like this. So, uh, it will it will stretch. Hang on. Let 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 me uh, hang on. Let me do it again. Let, bear with me. So uh, so this this is your top. Let me just put a mark on it. Put a dot on it. Uh, let me put a purple dot on it here. So I need to take this purple dot. Uh, well, one, two, three. So all the way up here. Okay. So uh, hang on. Let me just erase this. Okay. So um, so this is my top part at the moment. I need to stretch it all the way up. Hang on. Let me just put this back in. So stretch it three times. Three times. So it's two now. Three. Some it will look something like this. Okay, so so your new graph will will look something like this. Hang on, let me uh, let me zoom out. See see uh, see this bit here. This is your 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 new your new um your 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 new graph here. It will look something like this. Okay, uh, but th there's a better way of doing it. Hang on, let me just zoom back in again. Uh, Okay, so so yeah, so a a, a a better way of doing it is to do this. This is your old function here. If you want to know three three of this, hang on, let, let me clear everything. Uh, let me clear everything. Hang on. Oops. So so the, if if this is your original function here, if you want to know uh three three f of x here, basically get your old function. Which is uh, this one here, and you you multiply by three. So all you do is you you get this thing and then multiply by three. So the equa your the equation for your new quadratic earlier would be this three and then bracket x squared plus ten x plus twenty one here, and then close it off. So so three x three x three um, f of x would be this. So your your new equation would be this. Hang on. This times this would be three x squared, and then this times this here would be thirty uh, thirty x, and then this times this would be uh, plus sixty three. You see the 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 equation for that for that new function would be this. Okay. This this is a quick way of doing it. Okay.